Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Thanks for popping in to check this one out. Today guys, I'm going to show you Minitool Movie Maker. It is a video editor. Um, it is completely free. Um, and even the free version has some great options in there. And I will get to those and show you those here in just a moment. Um, just to let you know, this is a sponsored video. Minitool did reach out to me and asked me to make this video. And so that is what I'm showing you guys today. So let's go ahead and minimize this for now. I'm just going to bring up the website, which I have put down in the description below. And as you can see, it is their Movie Maker 7.1 couple buttons here for the download um, if you have problems you can contact them with support here uh, but let's talk about pricing like I said it is completely free but there are different plans here uh, different pricing plans so the free edition as you can see this is all that it comes with um, it's actually pretty cool because most software like this does not come with all video effects text and elements so that's actually a bonus right there um, so I would just recommend going through these, see which one works for you. I would start with free and see how you like the software. Um, and um, I would recommend the ultimate plan. They did not ask me to say that. It's just what I have and I've been using it. And I really like it. Um, so check out the pricing plans there um, and the website again down in the description below. So once you go ahead and download your movie maker there, let's go back to it. Now, once you open your Movie Maker, you will get a screen like this. Um, you can uh, select the aspect ratio. I'm just gonna go with the widescreen here, but you have all these options, you know, for like Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, mine's gonna be done on a computer, so I'm going widescreen. Um, if it's a new project, you just click new project, and you can even open existing pro projects, and they have movie templates as well. Um, so let's just click new project here. And this looks pretty much like most video editors that you see these days. Um, it's pretty much all the same where your media is in your player and your timeline and stuff like that down here. So let's take a look at this, guys. We're not going to like really create a video, but I'm going to throw some media files in here and just kind of play with a little bit and show you what's what. So I'm going to click this. And I've pre-downloaded some of these from uh, Pexels, um, just three videos here. So I'm going to highlight all those. We're going to click open and we can put them in our media here. And then when you want to add these, all you do is simply hover over it and click the plus sign. And that will put that down here in your timeline. And so I want to do that one and I want to do that one as well. So let's just start at the beginning here. You've got your media, pretty self-explanatory. If you did have uh, pictures, there would be they would show up here. Uh, for the music, um, I will show you that here in a little bit, but you got a whole option of music to choose from, um, and you can upload your own as well. Um, so we're just going to start with videos here. And once you get your videos uploaded into your timeline, you'll move over here. I mean, you can bounce around, but we're just going to do this for demonstration purposes. They've got a lot of transitions, which I really loved. So let's go back here. And um, I'm going to show you some of these transitions here. Uh, they'll show you what's trending. You can do the light ones. Uh, you can do the ones that wipe like that. If you hover your mouse over it, it will show you what it does. It'll give you a sample of what it does. Just like that. Um, so they have that one, the wipe ones, uh, the advanced where you get something going on like this. And it just kind of transitions back into something else there, which is really, really cool um, into your next video. Um, diagonals. I mean, it's all pretty self-explanatory, you know, but um, there are so many options here. And you get a lot of these with the free version as well, too. Um, so just go through those and pick what you like. It's, it's really hard because I like quite a few of these. Uh, so let's move on. Actually, let's do a transition so you can kind of see how that works here. Uh, so I want to transition this and I just want to use this one. So we'll click the plus sign here. And as you see right here, it embedded that transition. So if you go back here to your first one, you play and watch that transition. And that's kind of how that works. So 
It's actually really, really cool. A lot of good transitions, so check those out. Next, we have effects, and they're named pretty well here. Um, they are, let me click on these. As you can see, it kind of slow-mo on these. But let's check these out. So let's go here, and let's just say I want to use this cool transition. Now, you'll see this down button. That just means they're not downloaded, but all you have to do is click that and it will download it. Uh, you can also just right click and download all. And so it will just download all of them. I think it's just trying to save space or something, but let's say we want to put the cool effect in my video clip. So we're just gonna click that and then we're gonna hit play. And by this little thing up here, you can see that it embedded it into there. I'm not really sure what cool is gonna look like, <laughs> but uh, that's how you do that. Let's try that on this one over here, and let's do this one. What is that one? 1977, okay, and let's play that. And as you can see, it's kind of put that different color on there, um, the overlay, the shade, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, and again, with the effects, you've got so many here. Got your artistic ones, like that red green, commons, Instagram-like. We all know the Instagram filters when you post a picture. And you've even got some motion blur ones. So uh, the effects are pretty cool. Now next, let's go to text here. Now with text, you got a lot of subcategories here. You got what's trending, then you can caption it. So like say you wanna open up your video. Well, you got titles down here too, uh, which you can open up your video with. Uh, but let's caption this. Let's just say we're gonna use this one. And let's wipe this out and let's just type our new video. Um, that doesn't have to be perfect, but that will bug me. Okay, and so once you do that, let's go ahead and hit play. And so that's kind of what you will see on that particular uh, video, on that particular clip. Um, you can also do credits at the end. That's kind of cool. A lot of those, a lot of the... Um, other ones I don't believe have that. I could be wrong on that though. Somebody correct me on that. And then title's pretty cool. So you can like just uh, create a title. Let me just go ahead and delete that caption. Um, that's how you do that by the way. You right click on that caption and delete. So let's say we just want to do a title and we want to use this. Now we can move this title over here. Uh, say you want that at the beginning. And let's just name this Our Cool Video. And we're just gonna, we can move this wherever we want. Let's move it down here and enlarge it a little bit. And then you click, double click in there, watch it now. And so this will be your title, which is kind of cool. That comes up when the video starts. And of course, I made it look really cheesy, but there's a lot that you can do with that to enhance it and make your video title really, really cool. Um, so again, credits caption, what's trending on the text. Next, we'll move on to motion here. And this one's kind of cool. Let's say I wanna put motion on this video. If we just play this video as is, you can see it's just a regular old video, no big deal. But let's say we want to pan up on this clip when the clip starts. So let's just click on that, and then we're gonna choose pan up. And now when we play the video, oh wait, I didn't start at the beginning. Oh wait, no, I'm wrong on that. That's okay. Move over. And now it should pan up. I think it is panning up, not real sure. Yeah, I think barely. Uh, but we can also do zoom out and center. Let's do that instead, and let's play that. And it might be doing, I can't really tell because it's it's moving a little bit. So um, if you guys can tell, let me know. I, I messed with it earlier and actually made a video uh, using uh, pan left along bottom here is the one I did. So, but, uh, but yeah, guys, um, then you can just do pan only. You can actually do a zoom in. You can zoom out on the clip. There's a lot of good options there as well. And then I'm gonna move on to Elements here. Elements is one of my favorites. Um, this has really been fun to play with. So you got a clip 
and just say when you play this clip, you want this little guy here. Let's download that little guy and put him in that clip. And then you can go grab him, move him anywhere you want, make him smaller, make him larger. And when we play that, you can see him up there. So that is pretty cool. There's a lot of elements here, a lot of subcategories of elements. Um, there's just a lot to go through. Um, you see a lot of those videos where when the video starts or in the middle, you got um, you got something coming up like this telling you to subscribe. So if we add that and put it, let's say here, and let's start this in the middle of the video, you will see it come up, do that subscribe, ring the bell thing type stuff like that. So that's how people do that. Um, if you guys didn't know that. Um, so, but yeah, there are quite a bit of those here. Um, if we start all the way back here, you've got everything from explosions. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cool. Arrows, you can even do food. So there's a lot of cool elements to add into your video, guys. So um, like I said, we're not going to create a professional video. I was just kind of showing you how to use these things. Um, so when you're done, say you got your video all together, um, all you do is go and click export up here. I did want to take you back and show you the media stuff, though. Uh, let's see, where did... Okay, I want to use this one, and if we go to music here, um, let's embed some music here. Now, if you look at the music, right up here will tell you how long that is. Some of them are just like a second long because they're just kind of like a sound clip or a, a sound like this is fairy chimes. But let's say on this clip, I want to start this music. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that download key. And I'm going to click that to embed it. And as you guys see, it comes up here. So now when we get to that clip. And that's actually kind of fitting because it kind of sounds like. Uh, All the roads kind of sounded like ocean to begin with. The journey of and our you can see it's some regular music there. So that is kind of cool. There is quite a bit of music here and sound bites and stuff like that or you can actually just import your own by clicking on this and bring your own music into the mix. Anyway guys, that is really it. Like I was saying, when you're done, click export and you can choose, um, I'm gonna go PC, but you can also choose your device, what format. I'm going PC, you give it a name, you tell it where you want it to go, you give it what format, MP4 is the basic uh, default pretty much these days and your resolution and your frame rate. Um, I would go like this and maybe 30 or 60 FPS. Um, and then that is it guys. Um, there's some extras like you can, you can click the settings and do some encoder settings and stuff like that. Um, but that is it. Once you've got it, all you do is click export. And it will do its thing and calculate, uh, not calculate, but pretty much just put that video together. It'll even tell you the size here and it'll tell you the duration of the video itself. Um, so anyway, guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I have no interest in saving that. Um, that is it, guys. So I hope this was helpful to you. If you really like this, check out that link down there. Um, at least download the free version and mess with it and see what you think. Anyway, guys, if this was helpful to you, please click that thumbs up and consider subscribing for future content. Thanks, guys.